Hi, Tamar. Welcome again to the Banking Show. Your Thank column you. this week about the HR ailment of the public sector bank seems to have touched a chord. I'm seeing a lot of response on uh, Twitter and social media. It is a very serious issue we're talking about, you know, suicides amongst uh, bank uh, workers. Uh, what has led the situation to become so grave? And what triggered you also to write about it now? First question answer is this. It's not grave today. It has been all along there. It's not in the public domain. Uh, that's it. And the provocation for me writing this, of course, the newspaper reports of uh, bankers committing suicide. So that made me curious. And that made me that made me to do some research to find out what's wrong. And that's the that's the column is all about the tremendous work pressure. You know, basically the how to achieve the target. And as I said, I started with somebody who yeah, was attending uh, on a holy day, uh, the color, the festival of color, somebody attending a friend's daughter's wedding in Mumbai. Uh, but he was scared that uh, if his uh, boss gets to know, he'll be fired kind of stuff. I remember, that's a holiday. I mean, he just took off one more day. But apparently in March, nobody is supposed to take because that's the India follows in April, March uh, financial year. And there's a tremendous pressure in March. So anybody taking off in March, uh, it's a sort of, uh, you know, you can't do that. So that is my personal experience, a gentleman I know, I got to know. And then, of course, I came across uh, the news of uh, suicides, a few incidents. Uh, so that's all made me uh, look at this issue and write about it. And the issue per se is not new. Uh, it's there all along. Has it become more serious now than it was before? And wh what is it that public sector banks are not doing that they should be doing uh, so that it doesn't come to this? It is more serious because it's a competitive world, you know. Uh, earlier, um, as you know, that public sector banks have been losing market share. If you see, yes, uh, on an outstanding basis on the stock, their market share could be anything between 62 and 65 percent of assets and liabilities. But if you look at the incremental assets and liabilities, that's the new loans and new deposits. Deposits, you will find the public sector banks uh, share in the market uh, uh, the incremental business is probably less than 20 percent even for the deposits and you know they are the so so-called proxy government uh, proxy for the government i mean the sovereign uh, uh, guarantee is there still people are not keeping money with public sector banks they're going to private banks so there's a huge competition and this competition actually forces all this you know importance of uh, meeting the target you have target for uh, for deposits, you have target for credit, you have monthly, quarterly, yearly. And then, of course, uh, other part is this, the selling of, um, um, you know, other financial instruments like mutual fund and insurance, etc., going beyond banking. So all mm -hmm. these actually are creating a problem. Problem in the sense, it's it's is the longer you, you, you need to, to impress upon the bosses, you need to stay in the office much longer. You can't take a day off. What is the solution to fix all these uh, problems? Solution: the culture has to change. I mean, the, the idea is not to get only people, the work out of people and making them, um, yes, work out of people, but not making them work longer. That's that's the mistake we often do, that if you're staying in office much longer, uh, probably you are more productive. That's not the case. Productivity has very little to do how long you are staying in office. So I think that cultural change has to uh, has to be. I'm not saying that uh, that they should allow people to work from home. Everybody should work from home, which COVID has changed the scenario in some of the private sector outreach. It's not the case. But I think the focus would be on productivity in a different way, not for coming to office every day and staying as long as possible. And also, you must get rid of the streak of feudalism. Now, it is interesting how you've compared the problems of HR heads of private banks. So how do you compare this HR issue in public versus private sector banks? Well, that's very different. You know, the, there are certain commonalities like, yes, target orientation, you, you must meet the target, etc. But the private sector banks are very different. In some way, their pressure is much more because there is no job security. You run the risk of being fired, you know, which is not the case with public sector banks. Public sector banks, your job is secure unless you do some something really horrible, uh, which is nothing to related to work. However inefficient you are, you may get a transfer, but you remain on the payroll. But for, for the private banks, uh, you get sacked. Uh, but people don't care about getting sacked. The, the new generation, you, 
you 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 see the uh, relatively young bankers in the private sector they they just want to be challenged they are working for um, they you can't pay them more money and make them stay you can you just can't pay give them flexible hour and make them stay they want a different kind they want to be challenged because there are many takers for them the fintechs the tech fins um even though the you know and some of them are even going on their own and trying to do startup so they are an adventurous lot they are an ambitious lot they they do not suffer from any job in insecurity of jobs uh, and they want to experiment with life so in public in private sector the solution is uh, a very different and uh, the solution is not money the solution is you need to give them a challenging atmosphere challenging working environment well the good thing is at least we are finally talking about these issues because that is i guess the first step towards reaching to any uh, solution acknowledging the problem very rightly said tamal it is a cultural issue and perhaps there needs to be more focus on uh, productivity to tackle this issue thank you so much tamal for joining us today and for the wonderful column thanks ruchi thank you if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success soar high. I will achieve nation's trusted bank sbi the bank of to every indian